All right, guys, welcome back to the PS series. So, you have a Lenovo Legion 5 laptop like this one with a Ryzen 7 5800H and an RTX 3070 or something similar, and you want to overclock it, increase the performance, maybe undervolt the CPU, undervolt the GPU, all that stuff to get the maximum possible performance out of it. Well, this is the right video. Let's get straight into it by taking a CPU baseline, then show you how to undervolt the CPU, and then show you how to undervolt the GPU but it's actually going to be a slight overclock so that you can get lower temperature and more performance at the same time. Let's go. Okay, so this is the actual baseline. Now we are simply running a CPU-Z stress test and I don't know if you can hear the fans, but they are at 100% fan speed. We are running at 4140 megahertz on average and it's just going straight up at 100 degrees. Of course, this is what they designed for the notebook. So again, it shouldn't be harmful in theory because this laptop here specifically is brand new, but I don't think it's good for the life of your laptop and we don't want that. So let's get straight into fixing it. Oh. Okay, so let's get started with the actual undervolt. Now, first thing you want to do is open up your browser and go look for AATU, okay? I will leave the link down below. You want to open the first link, it's this page, it's an open source project that is aimed towards optimizing the Turbo Boost technology from AMD. Now you scroll all the way down in the page until you find the release page on GitHub. Click on it, pulls up the release page, click on Windows download, it will download it. I have already downloaded it. So let's go into download. Now, right here, it will be called UXTU. You right click, extract it. It will be called UXTU Beta 8. You wanna open it and right click over here to open it. What you wanna do is quite simply go over here. You see, second slide. It will tell you here what your CPU is. And now you wanna go under here and click on balance. It will say settings have been applied. Now we'll show you the actual results. You can do more in-depth testing if you want to. I will just show you. Oh, and I want to say the tutorial for the CPU undervolting is already finished. Okay, just do this and it's done. Now, let me show you how it works, okay? Let me go here, stress test it. It was going to 100 degrees a couple of seconds ago. Again, I showed you the baseline. And look at it now. It reaches around 80 degrees it doesn't go higher the fans will start to ramp up on the laptop and this will be the, um, the actual baseline now while this is going i will talk a bit more about those presets so if you go on battery saver you will lose a lot of performance but it's going to give you the lowest temperature and the lowest power consumption however i do not recommend you use this preset now balanced is what i recommend but if you go on performance and i will show it to you once we reached temperature. If you go on performance, you are gonna get more performance. Balanced, you get a bit less CPU performance than in stock, but that frees up thermal headroom for your graphics card in your laptop. So that effectively increases your performance because they have a heatsink in common. So again, use balanced. But if you wanna go over and use performance, that's gonna give you exactly the same performance as at stock exactly the same performance but running approximately 10 degrees lower balanced it's gonna run 20 degrees lower as you can see it's stabilized at 79 degrees so we dropped over 20 degrees okay i will show you what performance does okay just hit on performance and now it will immediately apply it and as you can see we jumped up to around 94 degrees and our score well it slightly increased but it didn't really increase but still as you can see it's ramping back down, it will stabilize to around 90 degrees, and it's gonna be better than stock. So if you really want the most performance ever for the CPU, hit performance. But if you're gaming, please use the balance, okay? You can either do this as every time as you start the laptop, or you can set this thing to start on system boot and start minimize and save settings. This way it will do it automatically for you. And the tutorial is over. Just download the software, use the presets, they have already optimized the algorithms. They have uh, basically automated what I usually tell you to do on the page. So we don't even have to do it. We just have to click on the right thing. So please do this. Let me know. It's going to work perfectly. Okay, so GPU undervolting. We have an RTX 3070. We're going to be undervolting it. We will have to open Heaven Benchmark and let it run in the background. Now you want to open up MSI Afterburner. Uh, again, all the links will be down below. Just click on them. And now over here, you want to go under 
key or settings. Make sure that the voltage control and voltage monitoring is enabled. Now, once you've done that, you want to go here on curve editor, click on it. Now you want to go over here on core clock and give it minus 250. Hit enter. Okay. I will first give you the preset that's going to work for everybody. Then I'm going to tell you in case you want to tune it better for yourself. Now, as you can see, it's running at, at under 1700 megahertz at stock. So what we're going to do is go on the 800 millivolt voltage point right there grab the voltage point at 800 okay and bring it all the way up to 1700 okay right there 1710 174 they're all the same then you hit apply your curve will flatten out and you will be effectively undervolted as you can see now it's going a bit over it it's going at around 1740 which is not really what we want to so you can again Try to get it as close to 1700 as possible because 1740 is going to give you more performance, but it's not going to be stable um, on every laptop. Okay, tutorial is over. You can just do this, do the undervolting. So click on balance, uh, come here, set it to 800 millivolts, 1700 megahertz. Close the tutorial, done. But in case you want to listen a bit more about what we've done and what you can do if you want to fine tune it, well, let's go on now. In my personal experience, the two perfect voltage points for laptop are from 775 all the way up to 825, okay? It's this small range. You can work in that in case you want to test it. And the core clocks, which are the best, are from 1650 megahertz, which give you the least performance but the most efficiency, all the way up to actually 1800 to even 850 on the best laptops out there. I mean, best in terms of silicon luck, clearly, not the best manufacturer. So you can play with that if you want to. In my specific laptop, I find that at 800 millivolt with around 1760, 1780 megahertz is the best. But again, your mileage may vary. So this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.